Hi, I'm Jessica and welcome to my channel. In this week's video, I'm making a painted art project using a new technique I've not tried before with painter's tape. So let's get started and we'll see how it turns out. To get started, I'm going to use painter's tape to mark out a pattern on my canvas. I'm going to use a very simple um, crisscross pattern, diagonal pattern to keep things simple and easy for me in my first go around with this. My last attempt at laying something down and painting on top of it and then removing it didn't exactly turn out so well. So I wanna go with something simple. First, I'm going to measure out my canvas to know where I want to put in my design. I wanna do a diagonal pattern. So my canvas is 12, about 12 inches by nine inches. So I'm gonna do a line diagonal from corner to corner and then from 6 to about 4.5. So I'm going to take a pencil and mark on my canvas where I want my painter's tape to go so that I have a bit of a guide. I'm next going to cut down my painter's tape because these, this 2 inch roll is way thicker than I want my lines to be in my design. I want my lines to be about half an inch so I'm going to cut down the tape into about half inch sections, or maybe inch sections. All right, I cut my painter's tape down into a one inch um, strip and I'm going to tape it onto my canvas. My cut is not perfect, but I can fix that after I'm finished. I'm now going to tape this down from my mark on, no, no, come on. From my mark <laughs> on my lengthwise and widthwise and try and get it as center as possible. I'm now going to cut more tape to do the rest of my diagonals. Now that I've taped down my painter's tape and pulled it up and re-taped it down in an attempt to get my diagonals to be actual um, symmetrical, they're still not, uh, <laughs> but I'm going to go with it. Um, at least I know, hey, at least I know the painter's tape will come off of the canvas and not leave crazy marks. My next step is to start painting. The two base colors I'm gonna to use today are purple and teal, and I'm going to alternate the colors um, of my little triangles, or, or diamonds, whatever these are. While I wait for my first layer of teal to dry, I'm going to go in with my first layer of purple. I'm now going to let this sit and dry completely and we'll come back in a little bit to remove the painter's tape and see how that turned out. I gave this a few hours to dry so now I'm going to take off my painter's tape and reveal the design. Hopefully it worked. <laughs>
Now that I've peeled off the painter's tape, I can see where the paint um, seeped in underneath the painter's tape. So my lines aren't exactly perfectly clean. Um, but I can, at the end, either go over them with white or just leave it because I think it actually looks kind of nifty. I want to add gold as an accent color. I'm going to layer my painter's tape on top of my already painted design. That way I can paint over my design with gold to add the accents. So I want a layer of gold or a strip of gold going in between all these diamonds. So I'm going to lay the painter's tape on the sides of the diamonds. I want to make sure my tape is taped down well because when I tape down my diagonals for my base colors, they bled a little bit when I painted over them. So I want to make sure that these tapes are, ta are stuck down really well so that my gold doesn't seep underneath. I'm now going to go in my, with my first layer of gold paint. I'm absolutely going to need more than one layer of gold paint to get the coverage that I want. ended up giving this five coats of paint in order to get the coverage that I wanted with my gold. I'm now going to remove the painter's tape to reveal my gold design on top of my teal and purple. My gold lines are much more cleaner than my purple and teal because I press down on the painter's tape harder to make sure that it's stuck better. Um, but even so, there is still some seepage along some of my gold lines. I could go back in to correct for my seepage issues that I had. I am choosing not to because I kind of like them. And my diamonds aren't perfectly symmetrical anyway, so I'm completely okay with leaving my seepage problems. <laughs> Thank you for watching my video. Have a great day and I'll see you next week. Bye.